Hi guys, welcome to this comparison between the two screen recorders of Bandicam and the Cyberlink Power Director. Um, yeah, the screen recorder from the uh, Cyberlink uh, Power Director, it's actually free, it's an add-on more or less. I mean, when you buy the power director um, you get this add-on and it's it of course is not comparable with all the features and options of the bandicam here you see the basic uh, options when you start uh, both of the programs here you can see you have uh, total different settings for channel fps video image output about you can do like uh, just windows or hdmi recording or this is for gaming and here you have additional settings settings for video and here uh for the uh, power director or cyberlink screen record you have basically these features you can have full screen window screen and uh something smaller doesn't have to fit uh, any window uh, and it will show you what's the dimensions. The thing is, with Bandicam, which I'm recording now from, you can you get a nice window with a title, uh, like a like a banner, uh, something like this, with a something on top. You can click on it and drag it, and uh, with the um, Cyberlink Power Director screen recorder, you don't get this. So that means you, you with the screen recorder, you set the dimensions and uh, yeah, basically the place which you want to record, and you start, and then after that you stop. You can't move around. You can't uh, make it bigger or smaller. With the Bandicam, you can uh, change. Uh, uh, everything during the recording you can make your windows smaller or bigger and you can make it you can move it around so that's a huge advantage so I've tried this now uh, I've done basic comparison both with 30 frames about same uh, dimensions with the Rocket League um, Steam game so here you can see this is the details when you click on settings on screen recorder then you get also these settings and you see it's also 30 frames per second you can get you can tell uh, where to save you can also set uh, where to where the um, sound should come from if just from the voice which can be microphone or from the system you can have both on or off or mix or whatever so that's a good thing uh, and start stop I, I mean that's a good thing i w what i'm really missing that you don't have like a window in front of all the other windows which show you which part is recording and you can move it around or make it smaller or bigger uh, that that's that's really uh, the main thing what what i'm really missing what you can see, I've been recording a five minutes video, and this is the Bandicam video. It's five gigabytes, and the uh, Power Director, Cyberlink Power Director, it is only 0 0.5 uh, gigabytes. It's only about 10% of this size. So if you look for a smaller size, that's not bad that's a, that's a really decent uh, small size for what it has been capturing uh, you can feel the um, computer has be, um, yeah it, it has to work a little bit more so I think it's using the graphics card and so I think it got a little bit hotter or warmer or, or, or whatever so compared to the Bandicam um yeah regarding the video quality i want to show you i think both are not bad i'm going to show you the bandicam first so i think that's the one here i'm starting it hopefully you can see most of it it's about the full window more or less i hope it doesn't move around too much 
the thing is um, I was recording that uh, from the video player of the um, yeah, Steam Steam game uh, platform and there it was still good now when I'm using the V uh, how's that called video LAN uh, thing hold on yeah that's the thing so uh, now I'm recording from VLC media player which a lot of people use and here it has some problems when I ha when I was recording from um, yeah from the game directly like from from Steam the uh, yeah so the, the screen from the game or from the replay it does not have any problems but now when I record with Bandicam from the video LAN uh, player from the VLC then it does have problems so you do have to be aware of that when I'm recording with the Cyberlink Power Director screen recorder from the VLC it does not have these problems for some reason that's a huge advantage for the Cyberlink Power Director screen recorder uh, for some reason this is a, a, a huge advantage but apart from that hope you still can see this is the Bandicam video and it was good so the only problem occurs when I'm trying now to record this so that's a, a, a huge problem and now let's see the power director thing that's the smaller video and here you can see a special thing I have not found out why why this happens it produces a smaller video so there's actually no reason to make this black border I don't know why it does uh, do that uh, I mean the recording itself is quite good especially when you consider it's only about 10% of the file size so I don't see apart from that I don't see uh, any major difference uh, except from uh, saving space but um, yeah it's it's producing this small screen which you can't right away upload like to uh, YouTube you would have to go to the editor which is of course included in the cyberlink package the editor you can go there and then you can crop and yeah let's I don't know how it's called crop zoom uh, whatever and then you can have the same size but I don't know I mean it's an additional step which is usually not required and that of course will make the quality uh, worse I don't know if there is any way to prevent this but yeah since we have this I highly recommend using the Bandicam that's really a huge problem I'm stopping the video now it's a little bit annoying <laughs> you have this noise in the background um, yeah this is really really annoying with this border and the quality will go down when you have to uh, crop and re-render again so I think it's a huge advantage for the Bandicam and yeah so that's it I think I mean yeah Bandicam really has some advantages I mean it makes a bigger much bigger file which which is actually a disadvantage but the huge advantage is that it, it doesn't produce this black uh, huge black uh, border or frame or whatever and I've not found out how to prevent and uh, the disadvantage or I think yeah the disadvantage of Bandicam is that you can't record screen record a video from the VLC media player for some reason maybe there are options to change frame rate or whatever maybe there's a possibility to improve that I haven't found out at least in the default settings it seems to be better to record from the cyberlink 
uh, screen recorder yeah but uh, yeah overall of course clear advantages uh, also regarding options for the bandicam that mean that is there is a reason why much more people are using bandicam and um, yeah it I mean it's their main product I think with a uh, cyberlink screen recorder it's just like a, a side product which they want to try maybe later on sell separately so I think it's I mean it's a good thing it has some advantages the cyberlink but you need something else definitely uh, yeah especially also the thing that that you cannot uh, move the uh, recording window around you can you can't make it bigger or smaller with the cyber link so I mean the, the winner is definitely the winner is clear the winner is uh, it, it, it's it, it's no no question no doubt um, Bandicam will definitely win this challenge so uh, I think that's it for now I hope I've been covering a little bit of course not everything but I hope I was able to help you a little bit with that. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below. I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.